Hi everyone this is Diggy. So guys if you are new to this channel. Then please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon. So that you will get the notification whenever I will upload a new video. In this video, I am going to show you how to spoof in new security patch in September 2018. So this video is going to be lengthy so don't skip anything watch till the end. Recently everyone got an update of new security patch, which is of September 2018. Those who have Android 8.0 or 8.1, they have got this update recently, because of this new update, we can only downgrade till Google Play service version 12.8.76, and if we try to install the previous Google Play service version 12.6.85, we get an error app not installed. Due to this, we can't spoof our location. So I found another way to install the Google Play services. For this trick to work we need an unlocked bootloader and TWRP custom recovery. So if you don't know how to unlock your bootloader then just search it on Google. Warning. Make backup of each and everything. It will wipe out the memory of the device. So let's begin with the first process. The first step is to unlock the bootloader. So guys before unlocking the bootloader just turn on the USB debugging. So open setting. And click on about phone and click 7 times on build number. And go back and open the developer option. Enable the OEM unlocking and USB debugging. So OEM unlocking will allow unlocking the bootloader. Now connect your device to PC using the USB cable. Now we will open fast boot mode. Now open the C drive and open the ADB folder. Now press and hold the shift key and along with that press right click and choose the option open command window here. Now check whether your device is connected or not by typing ADB devices. And then write ADB reboot bootloader this will make the device boot to bootloader. So guys this is the bootloader of OnePlus 3 or you can say I am in fast boot mode. Make sure your device is connected properly. So just type fast boot devices. And if you see the device number then it's connected. Now it's time to unlock the bootloader. So just type fast boot OEM unlock and hit enter button. If everything is fine then you will see this type of warning. Then choose yes by clicking on volume buttons and then press the power button. It will unlock the bootloader. And it will take time to start and it will factory reset your device. So just set up your Android device and turn on the USB debugging from the developer option. Now we need custom recovery. So the TWRP recovery is the best to choose. So download the TWRP recovery for your Android device from this website. I will give you the link in the description. Now move the TWRP recovery file in ADB folder in C drive. Now connect your Android mobile to PC with USB cable. Download the latest Pokemon Go APK from Play Store. And download the fake GPS app which you like to use. I am going to use fake location mock GPS. Now download the Droid Hardware Info app. It will help in recognizing the CPU architecture. I have given the link for this zip file in the description, so download this file and put it in your internal storage. So that we can remove Google Play services from the device. Now go to Google Play services and uninstall the Google Play updates and then disable the Play services. It's very important step to perform. So open C drive and then open ADB folder. Now press and hold the shift key along with that press right click then click on open command window here. Click on command window and type ADB reboot bootloader. This command will open the fast boot mode.
Now we will boot the TWRP recovery in our device. So type fastboot, space, boot, then your recovery file name.img. In my case it's twrp.img. This is the graphic user interface of TWRP recovery. It will be the same for every device. Now we will flash that zip to uninstall the Google Play services, in order to install the old version of Google Play services. So click on install button. Now find the location of the file where you kept it and click on that file. Now swipe the button to flash that zip and it will remove the Google Play services from your device. Now swipe the button to flash that zip and it will remove the Google Play services from your device. Once your device is started you will see the notification for Google Play services, it's because the Play services are now deleted from the device, so just ignore these errors. Now we will install old Google Play services. Now we will stop the Google Play services from getting auto update. Just open Play Store and go to settings and then click on auto update app and select do not auto update apps. If you do this then it will only work for 2 minutes and then Google Play services will get auto update. It's happening because Google Play services do force auto update. So we need to stop the Google Play Store from accessing the internet and it will stop the Google Play services from getting auto update. So for this open setting, and look for app setting and click on it, choose all installed app, then open Play Store, and you will see data usage, so click on it and disable the background data. So you will see different option than this in your mobile phone. So just disable the background data and it will stop the force auto update. Now we will install old Google Play services. Before old Google Play services installation, we need to know our device CPU architecture. So for that, we are going to use Droid Hardware Info app. So open this app, now you have to go to the system tab. So in system tab, you have to look for instruction sets. According to instruction sets, we are going to install the old Google Play services. So we need to install the old APK. We can download this from APK Mirror website, and I have mentioned the website link in the description. We are going to install the Google Play services version 12.6.85. So open the APK Mirror website. On this website, all the latest and old version of Google Play Services APK is available to download. The APK is not on the first web page so scroll down and click on more. It will take you to the next web page. Now find the Google Play Services version 12.6.85. Click on it and it will take you to the next web page. On this page, you will see lots of Google Play Services APK. So you need to download that APK which match with your CPU architecture, and Android OS version, along with no DPI. So download the app according to your device but it should be no DPI version. So I am going to download this APK, it matches with my CPU architecture, which is ARM64V8A and Android OS version 8.0, with no DPI version. So download the Google Play Services APK according to your device configuration. If you didn't download the correct APK according to your device, then you may face some problem while installation of old Google Play Services. You will get an error the app was not installed when you try to install the Google Play Services APK. This happens because you have not downloaded the correct APK for your device. Download that APK which match with your CPU architecture and Android OS version along with no DPI version. Install the APK in your device which you have downloaded from the APK Mirror website. If the APK is according to your device then you will not get any kind of error while the installation of old Google Play services. Now the Google Play services are downgraded, now we will do the fake GPS setup. 
so before doing the setup just delete the app data for Pokemon Go and fake GPS app, so that we don't encounter any kind of error, such as unable to authenticate. If you get this error then just clear the app data of Pokemon Go and log in without using fake GPS. When it's done then start the fake GPS. Now open the fake GPS which you downloaded in the start. And perform all the basic setup for that fake GPS. Do the same thing for Pokemon Go app. Now it will work for you. If this didn't work then comment below and mention your device information along with that. It will be easy for me to solve your error. Now we are ready to spoof. So I am going to spoof to Pier 39. So remember one thing if you want to use the Play Store in future then enable the background data then you will be able to access it, but your Google Play service will get auto update and you have to perform this method again to downgrade. So downgrade the Google Play services carefully otherwise you will get an error. I have explained each and every necessary thing in this video, even though this video is not helpful then comment your problem in the comment section and I will try to find out the solution for you. So share this video with your friend who doesn't know how to downgrade Google Play services, and I have given WhatsApp group link in description join that group and stay connected with me. Thanks for watching guys. If any question then comment and if you have any suggestion then please comment. If this video is helpful then like share and subscribe my channel, so that it will motivate me to make more video. See you next time till then bye bye stay safe and keep spoofing.